hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my youtube channel please do also subscribe to my youtube channel i want to thank everyone for subscribing please if you have not done that take a minute to do that please you can do that now thank you thank you so in this video i want to tell you the uh reasons why you should go for the school accommodation so if you are coming to the uh, UK to study as a student, I would advise that you apply for your university accommodation, especially if you are coming alone, if you are a single student, you are not yet married. So it's best to uh, take the university accommodation. I know why I'm saying this, okay? Because once you get uh, to the UK, you start paying bills. In fact, from the airport, you start paying bills. So you want to have um, a reduced cost in, in terms of your accommodation because accommodation will take a whole lot from your monthly income if you start working. So, and these are the reasons why you should go for the school or the university accommodation because uh, one is that it is cheaper. So the university accommodation is very cheap okay so um compared to the houses that you have uh, out there so if you want to reduce in fact some some accommodation in the school you have to share um uh, a flat with your your fellow housemates so it's very cheap so our advice that if you are coming to the uk as a single student please go for the school accommodation as, as, except if you have a lot of money with you but if you want to reduce costs in terms of accommodation you can take the university accommodation two is that you won't spend much money in uh transportation okay so if you take the school accommodation most accommodation in the university are located inside the school even if it's located outside it's from it's, it's, it's somewhere that you can trek to the school so it's it will reduce your cost of uh transportation so i feel this is very important because if you are staying outside the, the university, you are staying in uh, private accommodation, you have to pay for, uh, you have to pay for transport, you know, going and coming from school. So two is that it will reduce cost of transportation. You don't even need to pay for transportation. Number three is that there are some schools that have, uh, that offer accommodation scholarships. So you can check with your school there are some schools that will offer your accommodation scholarship meaning that throughout your stay in the in, in, in your program if you are doing a one-year master's program you will not pay uh, uh for accommodation so you can check with your university and see if they offer university accommodation so with this you know that you are not spending any money on accommodation and i think that is that will be the best uh, offer that the university will, will give you because accommodation takes a whole lot of money here in the UK. And also, here, uh, if you are if you are taking the university accommodation, you don't need to pay deposit. Okay, most of the private accommodation you have to pay a deposit first, then you now pay the house rent. In fact, in some cases, um the uh the owner of the house you ask you to pay six months up front or three months depending okay but the university accommodation you don't need to pay any deposits okay even if you are paying uh like for the university of sorry i was able to pay 250 pounds while i while, uh, while i was in nigeria when i was given the offer okay but when i resumed they just added everything up they subtracted the two two fifty pounds from the entire uh, the total amount of accommodation, and I start I started paying uh, bit by bit. Okay. Then, lastly, the advantage is that you can pay bit by bit, like you can pay uh, uh, on a monthly basis. Okay. So when the university, like my university, they gave me. Uh, a combined bill every three months they combine all the accommodation fee every three months but i was able to bargain with them and they divided uh the entire the remaining after i paid deposit of 250 from nine they were able to divide 
and the uh, uh, the accommodation spreading it throughout the month now be staying in the school accommodation so that will make that makes it very easier and flexible for me to pay for my school accommodation okay so it's very important you look at this consideration it will help you a lot because i have friends that are staying in private accommodation and they are really complaining because uh in, in some cases you can even tell the university that okay you pay a social time and they will agree but you can't do that with a private accommodation you must pay the money immediately the month end so all these are the advantage advantages that you have if you stay in the university accommodation so in the course of this video i will just be showing you some uh accommodation that we have in at the university of sorry in fact university of sorry if you are coming to university of sorry i would advise that you apply for the university accommodation and as an international student coming to the uk for the first time you are assured of getting the accommodation okay and the university of sorry has a lot of accommodation where well, they have over six thousand rooms according to their website so you'll be guaranteed of getting an accommodation okay so check out and know when to apply so that when you come i, I see some people waste money in airbnb you can already you already gotten your accommodation while you're in nigeria or any part of the world that you stay then once you come to the uh, uk you just i just when i came i just took my key and entered so i think um if this video has been helpful please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you at the next one thank you